at the end of the year 2021, and it has taken us almost a century and a half to realize that human beings are not more important than nature. As we come to COP26, the realization has dawned that solutions that build on nature, on the capacity of nature to deliver the kinds of um, life-giving services we need are critical. Whether we are fighting climate challenges, biodiversity challenges, food challenges, or indeed the well-being of human beings. If we take a smallholder farmer, let's say in India or Africa or Indonesia, one of the biggest constraints they have is to cash for putting in the kinds of inputs that intensive agriculture requires. Often they get very highly indebted doing this. However, millions of smallholder farmers are now starting to use ecosystem services agroecology, and approaches like agroforestry to turn things around. In India, we have seen net income go up by 90 to 100 percent when farmers stopped using synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and instead started using natural systems, using and harnessing the biodiversity in the soil, in the plants, and the kinds of livestock they use in integrated systems, which is similar to what you have in an agroforestry system. So farmers earn more, but at the same time, we nurture the soil and its properties and its ability to um, sustain life, as well as improving the biodiversity of the system. So we work with nature rather than against it. And that is the heart and soul of a nature-based solution, especially in agriculture. Solutions have to be found in context. So we will need research, finance. Above all, we will need markets and value chains to start understanding and rewarding farmers, fishermen, and foresters who are being stewards of the land, who are looking after not just the land for its commodity, but land for its services. So we are going to have to develop new systems in what uh, we at C4 Craft are starting to call a stewardship economy, and this will require many different kinds of partners from local, national, and international as we turn to knowledge, our human capabilities, and social capital to bring about the changes in natural capital that are going to sustain life on earth and the well being of all the people who work with and in natural resource systems. One of the key changes we want to see is in the corporate sector, big finance, big agriculture, and big technology, that they start respecting the rights and the ability and capability and the agency of smallholder farmers um, and uh, forest dwellers rather than treating them as somebody that you have to educate, to build on and work with their traditional knowledge, but also provide new insights to them. Nature in its present state needs time to heal. We need to understand and learn how to do it. So knowledge and new knowledge and innovation are key. I believe we can do it because we see large scale examples of this happening around the world. We just need to connect them up and continue to support them. And then we will have the transformation in the six to 10 years that we need to get it done. 